हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म द टेस्ट एलोंगेशन इंडेक्स ऑफ एग्रीगेट द एग्रीगेट वूज मेक ग्रेटेस्ट डायमेंशन इज ग्रेटर देन 1.8 पॉइंट एट टाइम्स ऑफ इट्स मेन डायमेंशन इज कॉल्ड एलोंगेशन इंडेक्स ऑफ एग्रीगेट द एलोंगेटेड एग्रीगेट रिड्यूस द वर्केबिलिटी ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट एंड ऑल्सो एडवर्सली अफेक्ट द ड्यूरेबिलिटी एंड स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट सो टुडे वी चेक द एलोंगेशन इंडेक्स ऑफ एग्रीगेट विद द यूज ऑफ लेंथ गेज लेट्स टेक अ लुक now m this method of test lay down the procedure for determining the elongation index of the course aggregate and the apparatus required is balance length gauge and sieve set first of all we have to check fineness of course aggregate by sieve analysis here we take various sieve set of sieve 63 mm 50 mm 40 mm 25 mm 20 mm 16 mm 12.5 mm 10 mm and pan then after we have to take uh, about 1 kg of coarse aggregate and put into the top of the sieve set then close the sieve set from the top and uh, sieving it for 15 minutes after sieving take the weight of each retained aggregate from each sieve after sieving we use this uh, length gauge for uh, checking the elongation index of the course aggregate the aggregate was passed from this uh, length gauge uh, we put into the opposite side and the aggregate was does not pass from this length gauge or retained on this length gauge we put into the our side here the aggregate who passed from the sieve 10 mm and uh, retained on 6.3 mm we passed from the uh, length gauge of uh, gauge number 1 and the aggregate who passed from 12.5 mm sieve and retained on 10 mm sieve we have to pass from the gauge number 2 and the aggregate retained passed from 16 mm retained on 12.5 mm we have to pass from the gauge number 3 and the aggregate was passed from 20 mm sieve and retained on 16 mm sieve we have to pass from the gauge number 4 and the aggregate who who passed from 25 mm and retained on 20 mm we have to pass from the gauge number 5 and the aggregate who passing from 40 mm and retained on 25 mm we have to pass from the gauge number 6 uh, and uh, the aggregate uh, uh, who Uh, passed from 50 mm and retained on 40 mm we have to pass from the gauge number 7 here total 7 gauge number is given and the more aggregate which is more than 15 mm length there is no further description is given and after checking the length we have to take uh, each uh, length wise uh, weight of the aggregate
take a weight and a record into the performer elongation index is equal to total weight of aggregate retained on various length gauge divided by total weight of sample taken into 100 here we get a total retained aggregate 729 gram and divided by total weight of sample here we take sample 1039 gram so we divide 1039 into 100 so we get the elongation index 17.60 percentage Generally, the presence of elongated particle in excess of 15% is considered undesirable. Here we get elongated particle 17.16%. So, we cannot use this aggregate for making a concrete. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel.